But we've certainly had testimony that it was uh, a very marginal problem. Okay. So are you? Thank are you, you very a, much. Are you a Republican? Uh, and if so, wouldn't you be pro-business and not want to force businesses to pay extra money for investigations? Lovejoy? Yes. You're a minimum wage supporter, correct? Yes, I am. I just want to let you know that I've violated the minimum wage and I'm turning myself in to be arrested. You violated the minimum <laughs> wage? How's that? <laughs> well, I paid a homeless guy $6 an hour to sit in a comfy chair at a park. And that's below the minimum wage, so would you like to cuff me? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think this is more of a serious issue than uh, than you're making it out to be. Thank well, you. do you, you think people should be arrested if they violate the minimum wage law? You're, realistically. Mm-hmm. Representative Volme, you're a minimum wage supporter, correct? Yes, I am, but we've got a caucus and, and we've only got 40, 40 minutes. Okay, right I'll let you go. Are you Representative Richel? Uh, question. Uh, if I recall correctly, you voted in favor of making uh, businesses investigate their employees for, in, for citizenship status. Is that correct? I couldn't tell you if that's correct. I don't recall. The, did you have a bill number? Uh, I think I do. I can only fit so much on one page, but uh, it looks like it's House Bill 243. I, I wouldn't remember that if I were you, but, but um, uh, it's so easy to forget these numbers, but it basically, you know, it requires, and you know, everyone who's doing business with the state, as well as the state and local governments, to verify citizenship of, of all employees. Right. I think I did vote in favor of that. I guess my question would be, I mean, this bill requires closer cooperation with Homeland Security on this matter through the pilot program. I'm not and, sure of uh, that. I think the way that it was uh, explained was that there were certain statutory requirements that you'd have to meet. If there's a correlation between that and Homeland Security, then there may be, but I don't believe that it was had anything to do with the auspices of uh, Homeland Defense. The, uh, it was, I mean, you just had to use the pilot program or something similar, but it something strongly similar. seemed to lean people toward the pilot program, which is Homeland Security. Okay. But, uh, I guess Mike, Mike is concerned. I don't think I'd have a quarrel with that interpretation. Yeah, I mean, my concern was that wh why should the state be getting closer to Homeland Security? Shouldn't it be getting further away? Homeland Security's no, I, I, kind of. I, I, I don't shady. think so, and I certainly have uh, my issues with Homeland Security. I think it's kind of a marginal bill in the sense that we've had testimony that uh, there really isn't much of a problem in New Hampshire. So it's one of those things that are you conceptually in favor of being sure that employees have been vetted? Uh, potential employees have been vetted, and it's hard for me to say that we don't have an interest that it, you shouldn't be vetted, but we've certainly had testimony that it was uh, a very marginal problem. Okay? So are you, uh, thank are you, you very much. Are you a Republican? Uh, and if so, wouldn't you be pro-business and not want to force businesses to pay extra money for investigations? Okay. Representative Emmerich? Yes. Sir. The Representative Emmerich who voted in favor of uh, having employers check to make their, sure their employees are uh, citizens. Same person? Yes. Okay. Question. Um, you're, are you a Republican? Yes. Okay, so aren't Republicans supposed to be kind of pro-business? Wouldn't this have been an extra expense to business if it had gone through? You're talking about the... Uh, 243, HP 243, but I wouldn't expect you to remember no, the number. No. <laughs> but that was the uh, the check. The uh, I've got a blank right now. It was a background check to verify employment, employment. Uh, citizenship, 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 or or at least e you know e something like that. Right, yeah, okay. uh, where you had to be qualified under the government's work at any place that does any business with the government, basically. Yes. So, what would, did you check to see how much expense this would have cost businesses around the state before you voted in favor of it? It's it's an it's an online check. It doesn't. Have, it, the only cost is you have to take the time to sign up. Okay. Okay. So there wouldn't have been much of a cost. There's no cost. All right. 
There would, however, if I understand correctly, have been that people would have, the businesses would have had to get closer to Homeland Security. They would have had to cooperate with Homeland Security on this, correct? Well, it's some, pilot, of them, some of them have to now. Uh huh. The government contracts. Right. Well, some do, but some right. don't. Should, right. it be, should we be getting closer? Should New Hampshire be getting closer to Homeland Security or further away from it? Well, I think it's not a, it's not a question of getting closer to Homeland Security. It's a question of verifying somebody's right to work. Well, doesn't everybody have a right to work if the employer wants to hire them? Not if they're not a citizen. Well, I mean, I know the law doesn't say that they have that right, but I'm just, I mean, how can you justify forcing an employer to only employ the people that you say it's okay for them to employ? Because that's the law. Well, does the law make it right? Well, change the law. Not easy. Oh, I'm finding that out. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> All right, I appreciate the time okay. and the transparency. Okay. You take care. This program is brought to you by Freekeen.com. Freekeen.com features audio, video, and blogs chronicling the transition to a voluntary society. Freekeen.com also has comments and discussion forums so you can be heard. Freekeen.com.